you doing, guys? I'm just here to give you encouragement if I, any way I can. Um, God bless you. I just want you to know that God's got your back. Through this, I know you're going through a lot. I'm going through some things, but um, man, I'm blessed. You're blessed. We need to have uh, an idea in, in mind that without God's words, we have no hope whatsoever. We got to trust in the words he spoke to us. The words that you can trust is his promises. I will never leave you nor forsake you. In these times, there are tr these are troubling times, man, no doubt about it. And I get it, I do, man. I'm there, I've, I've I ain't been feeling good about things around me. And you shouldn't either. I mean, but we pray for those that, we pray for one another, that's what we do. Even though we're far apart. Say, I mean, geographically, we're far apart. We know that. Um, I'm dealing with my own things in my heart. God's made me search my heart a lot for a lot of things that I, I'm, um, I need to be very conscious and very aware, be very uh, sober and aware of what things are going on around us. But that don't mean like getting on the internet and uh, abusing YouTube to see what all the media is saying. I get that, I, I mean, I'm doing it too. I'm guilty of it. I'm not saying I'm not, but just saying, uh, if we're gonna go by that with, with what the way the world really is, we see through our eyes of the Spirit of God. We see that we have the angels, just like Elisa. Uh, when, when Second Kings, I think it's Second Kings. Uh, I believe Second Kings six, eighteen, speaks about that the time when all these things were going on. That the eyes would would you open his eyes, God? Open his eyes so he'll see that there's angels all around us I can find it it's in 2nd Kings but um, the thing is the point is is that we have angels I mean we have angels around us that do really know what we're facing and God has not forsaken us we got protective angels actually but the main protector is God himself He's in control of all things. So you're not alone, ever. If God could open up your eyes and reveal, pull this veil above your eyes, you'd know. You'd go, what, would, what was I worrying about? Why was I worrying any time? Why did I ever worry one time, one second? This is a cloud of witnesses. This is a test to see if you're faithful to God's words. We don't live by what we see or what we feel, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We are to put our trust in God's word, what he said, who we are in Christ. I will never leave you forsaken, ever, ever. Friend, I want you to know that today. I'm not trying to be stupid about this i want you to know for sure man you gotta know it i know it you know it you really know, you got to know this there's no other way that we're going to survive uh keeping a stable stable head right we're not going to be stable in our mind keep the mind of christ in you understand that we have a cloud of witnesses and then you have the almighty god who's sovereign, sovereign above all these things that we're facing. He's got your back, okay? He's got your back. Christian, friend, my brothers, my sisters, God failed, he will not fail you. He fails not. He's got you, okay? Um, so fast that was true. He is with you always. 
He's not angry with you. He's not upset with you. He's got you. He's got you in the palm of his hand. And those that come to me, I will never cast away. And he's got you in the palm of his hand. He will never let you go. Friend, you got to understand that. That's a very, that's very key to understand the grace of God, to understand the mercies of God, which every day when you wake up, be thankful in your heart. Be thankful there. It's not this that pumps blood. Hear, hear, hear what God is, is trying to get to, to you in your mind, in your, in your heart, mind, is that The things that I've said unto you, they are true. And I will never fail you. I will never forsake you. He will never forsake. If one thing he's good with is his word. He don't ever, he does ever, never uh, go back on that. He's faithful to that. He wants you to know that. So wherever, he, wherever you're at in your life today, I'm, I'm not doing the best I can, but who who is, really? But he loves you just the way you are. He's not upset with you, not mad at you. He's just that you would take my word seriously. Put it, put it here. Put it right there while there's time. While there's time. This time is right now, today. But he loves you, friend. And... Uh, I appreciate you guys. I need you. Need your prayers as well. I'm not nothing perfect here. I ain't got nothing, but by God's grace, I am who I am. I'm able to share, um, by His grace, the words that He would give unto me. I appreciate you guys. God bless you. Amen. Amen.